everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look that I am wearing right now. I used the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette to create this look and I just thought I'd do like a really fall appropriate eye look today. It's just my favourite time of the year. I'm calling it fall like I'm American. Autumn. It's my favourite season. I absolutely love autumn. I just love the colours, the clothes, everything about it. So. There we go, just thought I'd do a very autumnal look today and um, I hope you guys like it. So yeah, if you wanna know how I created this look, then just stay tuned. So I've already done my brows and put um, a primer on my eyes as well, so I just use Soft Ochre Paint Pot as always. And now on to the eye makeup. I'm just gonna start with this shade right here. This is called Cremsicle. This is in the um, Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to take that on a small um, fluffy brush and we're just going to pop that right into the crease. And now I'm just going to take this shade right here which is called Pukey and do the exact same thing with that. But I'm just going to keep it a little bit lower, I'm just not going to blend it up as high. And I'm using this on a bit of a bigger brush. So I want to get more colour onto there. And then go back in with my original brush just to blend that out a little bit. So now I'm just going to go in with this shade right here which is just next to the one we did just use and this one's called Hunts. And this is going to kind of go all over the lid but blending it into the crease as well. And you just want to keep blending, making sure everything is seamless. So now I'm just going to take a brown eyeliner pencil. This one is by, I think it's Eye of Horus or something. I'm not entirely sure. I've had this for a while now and I hardly ever use it. But this is the only brown eyeliner pencil we've got. So I'm just going to smudge this on at the upper lash line. It doesn't have to be neat. We're going to blend that out into the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take this shade right here. So this one's called Roxanne. And I'm just going to use that on a little bit of a smaller brush. And I'm just going to blend that over the brown eyeliner pencil we've just put down. So the brown eyeliner pencil was just put there just to build a little bit of depth right at the lash line. And I'm going to take that same pencil and I'm going to run this under my lower lash line and then I'm going to take the eyeshadow there as well. So putting the pencil there first is just going to give the eyeshadow something to grab onto because I don't like to put um, the primer right underneath my eyes because it's a bit too thick and a bit drying underneath the eyes. So I use a pencil liner to do that instead. And again, this doesn't have to be neat because we are going to be blending the eyeshadows. So I'm just going to take the shade Roxanne again. And then the shade Hunt and also the shade Cremsicle as well. So I've just missed out Pukey just because I don't really feel like I need it on the lower lash line. And now I'm just going to take this shade right here, which is the second one in the palette. This is called Beam and I'm just going to use this as a brow bone highlight and an inner corner highlight. Just ignore my dog barking. Just like that. So now I'm going to go and do the other eye and pop on some mascara and lashes and I will be right back. So now that I've got my lashes on as well and I've actually done the other eye, I'm just going to move on to skin. So to start with I'm just going to use strobe cream from MAC. I'm just going to use a little bit of that all over. And then for foundation, I'm going to use two different ones because I'm a little bit in between shades at the moment. My fake tan is like worn off, but I'm not my natural colour. My natural colour is an NC15 from MAC and it's just too light for me at the minute. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use NC15 in the Studio War 28 foundation from MAC. And then I've got NC30 in the Mineralize foundation as well. So what I like to do is apply the War to Wait first just with a flat brush. And then I like to just take a big buffing brush and buff that into the skin. 
This one is just from Spectrum. And then I just take the mineralized one from MAC, which is the NC30, and I just use the Spectrum brush straight away. And I just kind of put this around the outside of my face, just to give me a bit of color. And then for my under eyes, because they are really bad, I've got really dark circles, I'm just gonna use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick, and mine is in the shade number two, because I'm pale. And then I do like to put a little bit on the center of my chin and center of my forehead as well. And then I just like to use this brush from Urban Decay, it's like a large blending brush, it's number, E202 just to blend that out underneath my eyes just because this way I can like blend around the eyeshadow as well without messing it all up and I'm just going to set all of that just so it doesn't move around because I can't stand the feeling of having like a sticky face. I'm just going to use Max Mineralize powder what shade is this? This is the shade Light Plus um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of this on using a big fluffy brush and I'm going to do it more on the cheeks, chin and the forehead and try and avoid the eye area. Then for bronzer I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer which looks like this. I've hit pan on mine because this is like my favourite bronzer ever. And then because I'm just a little bit extra, I'm also going to put on some of Benefit's Cooler Bronzer as well. And I know everyone always says that they like they hate the little brush that comes with it, but I actually really like it. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I really, really like it. Now it's time for highlighter, which is obviously like my favourite part. And I'm going to use um, Too Faced Blinded by the Light. I couldn't find the name on it there. Um, it's the one that comes in the little hearts. They are so cute. I, do, I actually want them all, but at the same time, the actual gold one, I know won't suit me. Um, and I think the rose gold one is gonna be too dark for me. But that's what it looks like. It's so cute. Like the packaging is adorable and the actual highlighter is incredible. Like, I'll show you a swatch. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's a finger swatch. And then, like, Blinded by the Light is a very accurate name. And then I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus from MAC. And apply a little bit more of that highlight, just, you know, so it's extra blinding. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a lip and I'll be back in a second. And there we go, that's the final look. So on the lips, I just put on Chicory Lip Pencil, um, Cherish Lipstick, and then the Nude Gloss, all by MAC Cosmetics. The Nude Gloss, it is actually just called Nude. It's, um, it was limited edition, so it was from the Nikki's Nude Collection, um, which was quite recent, actually. I don't know if you can still get it online, but I know in stores it is sold out unfortunately but it is such a nice combination um but yeah so i hope you guys like this look i hope you like this tutorial let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below i'd love to hear any kind of feedback on the actual makeup the tutorial my filming my editing whatever it is just leave any comments down below um, and also it'd be great if you could leave any suggestions of anything you'd like to see any tutorials any reviews etc um yeah that'd be great but that's all for now so don't know when i'll be videoing again but until then i'll just see you on instagram bye guys